I always encourage couples to make this decision together, come up with this plan together as a couple. For weddings in general, what do you think is one important thing that couples should consider before they dive into the whole process of planning the, the wedding day? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of things to think about. Um, but the thing that I really like to stress with my clients is think about how you want to feel on your wedding day, because that's going to inform so many of your decisions that you make throughout the entire planning process. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to, you know, like choose the perfect venue or your wedding colors and these things hard to like decide on right away. But if you know you want it to be casual or formal or a raging dance party or like a low key dinner party, you know, kind of like thinking about how you want the day to feel will really help you make decisions, um, you know, kind of moving forward, whether it's choosing the venue or, you know, the music or the decor. And I always encourage couples to make this decision together, not just like one or the other, like come up with this plan together as a couple. Yeah, I guess coming from that, um, sometimes I feel like it's, um, how, well, I guess sometimes there's just this sense of when part of the couple is a bit more active, usually the bride, um, a bit more proactive in the planning. And then sometimes uh, the guy just sits back because sometimes they feel like the, the, the their fiance knows more about it. Um, do you have like methods to try to draw the, the groom or the other partner to feel a bit more engaged? That, that's a great question. I mean, I feel like in a way I'm kind of naturally lucky to attract couples that like to plan the wedding together. I would say more than half of my clients will tackle the planning equally. And every once in a while, I'll have a groom take the lead, which is really fun. And I, I find it so sweet because either like the bride is too busy or the groom just loves to plan. Um, and that, that becomes fun. But um, I mean, for me, onboarding, I always encourage them both to be a part of it. And I think um, that really comes into play with like talking about the budget because that really does affect both of them. And so I'll usually have both of them be a part of that meeting. And then we use wedding planning software and I have them both be members of it, not just the bride, you know, and so I really try and get them involved in different ways. But for me, I prefer to just take a lead if I can. I don't ever want to force someone to participate if they don't really want to, but I will know, I will find out which things um, each person is, cares about. And that usually comes in the budget conversation. You know, like maybe I know like the groom like loves food and music. So those are kind of going to be his areas where the bride is the more focused on the thing for. Um, and that way you know, I kind of can tailor how I get each person involved in the planning process. Uh, I think that's great because, you know, uh, sometimes I feel like grooms just don't know that their opinions are welcome. Um, yeah. And it's good to like put them into something that they're, they're interested in and something that they, a part of the wedding that they like, like yeah. they're very interested in. I always tell and, them, I'm like, you're a VIP too at this wedding, <laughs> you know, <I'm> not, <laughs> not just a wedding, you're equally VIP. <laughs> yeah, definitely.